Making a film in Sierra Leone is relatively challenging just as it is making a film anywhere in Africa. This is how we meet taxi. I am Mustafa, a typical taxi driver with a goal. Well, not so typical. But you know, it's like explain what you mean. Well, my name is Emma, Emma Daifan, and I'm an actress. I'm James Fortune. I'm an actor in the movie Taxi. My name is Maya Majaro. I play the role of Marie in the movie title Taxi. Hi, I'm Frances Owen. I play the role of a teenager in a movie called Taxi. I, I believe Taxi is a must-watch movie because uh, it speaks a lot uh, of, uh, of the issues that we are experiencing in Africa, in Sierra Leone, like rape, child labor, prostitution, bad politics, and these are things that we need to address. We know we need to tell more stories on these issues because they're really affecting the nation. Looking at the movie itself, Taxi, one of the main themes that the film is portraying is about um, violence, gangsterism, and the likes, working called like a boy. But then again, looking at it in a, in a broader perspective, it depends on how you perceive gangster for be or a man for be. Because most people, they determine gangster by the community we come on, by the friends we mingle with, and by the things that we do. But then Taxi here has a lot of people, has a lot of characters that portray different attitude. You understand? But that doesn't mean that if you're coming from a slum community, you're a gangster or you're not a man. It depends on which and which you do can determine for you to be a man. All I can say again, show me your friend, I will tell you that you be. But yes, again, society don't portray a lot of people that are coming from the slums community, or people that are suffering, or people that are living in the streets to be gangsters or a man per se. But then again, the film try for showing a clear picture the difference or dichotomy between people them within a slum community, how they're able to come up and be somebody good in the future, and also for people like you within the same community but they are living a different types of life. I played a student who tried to blackmail a lecturer. She's a little fancy. For that particular day, I had to put myself in the shoes of you know, which I wasn't quite comfortable with because as soon as I saw the script, I was a little skeptical. The language, that's not what I usually use in my daily life. And I'm not trying to play the good girl here, but I am not a vulgar person. So I, I wasn't okay with the script. But then as I got, as I got into my character, I think I, I, I delivered. But you'll have to wait and see, you know. And you are my youngest daughter's age, mate. I cannot I ask to your music. I can do what your daughter can do. You better stop. Upon having the script, I laughed and smiled over it because I'm a teacher and uh, for me it's like a teacher fitting into the role of a teacher. Yeah, I happened to get the script by accident. Having the script was challenging kind of because there were so many other actresses and actors on point. Also to put myself in character to be a taxi driver. I normally see all the taxi drivers going around being themselves but I never knew how really it was except when I went into that character so I had to put myself and see and had the experience of how a normal taxi driver go throughout the day. The movie Taxi was quite an interesting one for me especially with regards to the role. Um, I, I had this encounter with my wife and then um, you know, during that discussion, it was like the thing of equality. A man and a woman who has a say in the home, who, you know, who should actually listen to the other. And, and having that argument with my wife, you know, it was, it's just a, a clear picture of what goes on in, in every couple's life, day in, day out. 
actually my character was a um, daring one where I had to play a role of a female politician you know a politician that stands for the truth for the rights of the people Taxi is one of the best movies that I've shot in a while, yes, because uh, it is the movie is full of young, fresh talents that are, that are upcoming in the industry. Um, and the movie was targeted to be shot at night and the scenes were all shot at night and you know, doing a movie at night, it entails a lot of light and different light setups. I think with all the difficulties, what still keeps me on the project is us, because it's our project and everyone is a family member, so we are all connected one way or another, because we're trying to achieve what we can do best, then we're trying to sell our ideas to people, so people can understand what we're really focusing on. It's not just about the project, it's about the passion we have. The time was challenging exactly because staying up late till 2, 3, the cold weather, so it was really challenging and I hate to stay up late. So I be really not like that at all. But how for do? It was colorful. Starting from the producer, the director, all other possibly were involved in the in the team really do a fantastic work. They put the effort together because there were times when we go out for shooting and start eight in the evening. Okay, they say four, five in the morning. Can you imagine? It's it people that will get determination and focus and in persevere for achieve what they want to achieve. I was really impressed. If I can say that, I was impressed because like everything was well organized and it's like the directors know what they were doing. I didn't have the chance, you know, to be well acquainted with the directors on set, but when they were taken one, I am very observant and I've been around for a while and I know what is what is it and how things are done, you know. I was impressed with the way they were taking their angles. You know, the camera angles that shows me that they know what they were doing. The production consisted of two directors, Jamil and Wizik. The name Wizik, that's so weird, right? I know the director is young, but he's very talented. And so, um, I know Sarah is ready for this, and we're going to give them what they are ready for. So, don't worry, it's actually going to be a great project. I was not fortunate to work with a lot of people on my own set, you know, because we have different, different locations and everything. But the people I work with, especially the male politician, he impressed me a lot. And we ended up being friends, we we're talking, you know, him and also this lady that sang, you know, um, these people, I don't remember their names, but they impressed me. I think everyone tried their best to interpret their roles perfectly. In one word, the production was amazing. Everything that I could expect in a movie set, it was really professional. And this is my first movie and uh, I'll be the member <laughs> because I did share my lot. Playing playing my role with my friend Marie she she is my best friend outside movie so it was really easy to get along with her you better stop what a man can do a woman can do even much I am Ibrahim Jamil Sisei, the writer, yes, the writer and the co-director, also the producer of the film Taxi. Um, the entire idea about Taxi was very, 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 very interesting. It just came up at the middle of the night and I felt like this was a great idea and I need to share this idea with someone. And the very first person I could think about when I had the storyline was Wiz. 
Wiz, I know him to be one of the young, inspiring people who actually knows what he wants and goes for it. When you talk about a movie, it entails a lot. You have to talk about the crew, you have to talk about the actors, you have to talk about, you know, even yourself in whatever position or capacity that you will be serving, if you will be ready to do it. Honestly, there were lots and lots, there were lots and lots of challenges. The challenges were enormous. Serving as the producer, I had to single-handedly go out and search for money. One thing I can say is um, the casting was amazing. I had Dominic Mansaye on the day to shoot the film and he was willing and ready to give his best. I had Emma, a phenomenal actress. I had other phenomenal, amazing, superb actresses that I think, actresses and actors, well generally actors, that I think Sierra Leone and the world will be happy to see on screen. From different and various capacities, like I said earlier on, it's a great film. In order to um, strengthen the production value, we had to um, collaborate with other studios to make it more efficient and make it more, you know, good. The crew are the best. We get the sound man, where he always cogent, the lights man, the cameraman, of course, you know the angles and you know everything we for do. You know the talent waiting for do. Taxi, even the name there, the title there, is sufficient to show or tell that Taxi is a force to reckon with. It's a powerful movie. It's going to be the best or one of the best. Just expect greatness. Having gone through the storyline and all the characters that were in the movie, those who acted, the work that the, the producer and the entire crew put to ensure that we have a quality work, I believe this movie is going to speak volume when it comes to educating and sensitizing young people about their rights and responsibility, what they need to do. And also, it's going to help authorities to know what are the challenges being faced by young people in Sierra Leone. But are we the disabled in this country? Who oh, no, that's our first name from the border. I feel it. This is the one of one thing and all the money. If I lie, then my brother I want to take the logo along with my first street and one street. Let us see who send my brother and my sister and the dog and they sleep. Let them pick them up, show the world, not to even salute the international community. So Taxi is a movie to watch out for. It's a great film. And I'm not going to exclude the fact that we are still looking out for sponsors. We're looking out for people, anybody that can support the film. The film is yet to come out in cinemas. We're going to introduce cinemas to Sierra Leone for the very first time. So it's a big project. Let's share this video. Let's spread this news. Let's take it out there that Sierra Leone, the youths are ready to make change, to make great change. And we are already the change that we want to see. So that is all I have to say. How I wish God will just send me one careless passenger, one good Samaritan who can just come and forget $10 million inside my taxi just like that. Watch out for taxi. I can't say for you. Bye bye. Go down now.